April 14, 2017. Did some uh, machining and modifications to the new ram pump impetus valve, the inch and a half foot valve that was modified. And uh, I think we're getting a little better water volume delivery, but we're going to test right now and find out. Let's start at, start at 3155. to 20 seconds so it is up a little bit we're basically we're basically equivalent now with uh, I think we are with the um, the swing check valves production and I can actually change the weights a little bit and actually vary that a little more I have some tweaking to do but I thought I would show you this and I thought I would show you the modifications to the ram pump so, without further ado, let's go down and have a look. So, here we are down at the ram pump. And I'm sure if you saw the previous video, you can tell right away that uh, there's a lot more water going through there just by that uh, beautiful butterfly water fountain effect coming off of it. Let's go have a look at the valve changes. So here we are a little bit closer. Got you zoomed in so you can see. I basically drilled out the top guard there and uh, got a piece of 5 16th rod, threaded rod, and used a nut. I couldn't find a hex union locally. And I uh, basically just threaded the two rod pieces together and uh, ran that threaded rod through the hole that I bored out on the top there and uh, put some washers on for weights. <clears throat> and I can uh, put on and take off different weights and uh, change how the pump operates and how much volume water it uses by doing so. So now we'll be able to adjust down to pretty low water levels, I would think, come summertime, which will be nice. Anyway, I'll shut it off and uh, let you get a closer look. Okay, I shut it off, which, by the way, is as simple as just pulling up on the valve and holding it, and it locks out. So you can see where I took and added a piece of threaded rod to the existing uh, valve stem, so to speak. And I drilled out in here uh, with a 5 16th drill bit, drilled through that, and ran the threaded rod right through it. And you can see we've got uh, washers on here for weights, and I can add and subtract weights as necessary and, uh, and change, change the cycle. I also uh, took a grinder to the outlets here to open open these up for a little bit more flow. Uh, it didn't make a tremendous difference in flow because I don't have a grinder that's really precise and I didn't want to go too much further down here because I knew I'd be getting into the valve seat and I didn't want to weaken the valve seat having it break. Uh, anyway, so those are the mods on that and uh, while I'm down here I'll show you the filtration system that I put in um, in the standpipe because I meant to show you that the other day and I didn't. Anyway, we'll uh, kick this back on quick for you. Ready? There she goes. Pumping away. And 20 seconds for a quart. It's still around three quarters of a gallon a minute, but I'm not dissatisfied with that at all. Okay, I promised I'd show you the standpipe filter system. So now we got the, uh, the output valve here, and I have I got two of these, so I have a spare. But one of these is pushed down the pipe with the inch and a half uh, PVC pipe. Basically ramrod it down there like you would load an old school uh, muzzle loader rifle. And uh, there's a string on it so I can pull it out. I want to pull it out and clean it. Uh, but usually what I do to clean it is I just uh, pop this cap off here and all the stones and sediment and dirt that has collected in here plus all the dirt on the filter all just drops out with all the water in the pipe 
and then I can flush that filter out. I actually just did that earlier today and uh, pack it back down the back down the hole and that's all there is to it. And I just uh, FYI I pushed that filter down to right about here so it's between the inlet and both the outlets and that gives a little bit more pressure to help uh, get the water through the filter. Uh, I haven't had too much trouble but I found it did slow water flow a little bit when I had it higher up. So I put it further down where there's a little more pressure difference on the two sides of it. Anyway, uh, that works like a charm. That's been keeping the pump nice and clean. And uh, everything's okay. working great. One more uh, one more thing to show you. I uh, picked up a pool on Amazon on sale. It's pretty cheap. It's like 15 foot by 4 foot. And uh, it's got about a foot and a half or maybe closer to two foot of water in it um, from the ram pump and it's still filling. My calculations figure about four days to fill this pool. But uh, it gives me a 4,000 gallon reservoir that uh, I can take with me and is inexpensive um, for a water storage tank. So. Uh, this will be rigged up to all the other uh, irrigation networks uh, and act as a as a large reservoir. So uh, when the reservoirs in the barn fill up, it will overflow into here, and then uh, we won't be wasting water. We'll actually be able to store a mass amount of water. Anyway, I uh, just thought I'd show you this too because I'm pretty excited to have a, a massive reservoir this year. Irrigation should be uh, no problem this year. All right, thanks for watching the Pharmacy Seeds Network. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.